Hello, my name is Russell Singer with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will demonstrate for you how to enable Secure Shell, or SSH, on the Avaya Desktop Video Device Release 1.1. I realize it may seem like a bit of a strange concept as to why you would have remote access capabilities for an endpoint, but keep in mind that the ADVD is much more than just a simple endpoint. There are many different applications that run on the ADVD, including Facebook, Gmail, Microsoft Exchange, ActiveSync, even the web browser. And so sometimes it's useful to be able to access the shell so that you can collect information about those different applications and the device itself. So there are different things you can do from the Android shell or the Linux shell of the device. Once you access it using SSH, you can collect logs and statistics. You can create and download debug reports without the need to have an SD card in your device. You can also configure logging levels so that if you need to change the logs that are collected for a specific device, you can do that remotely now instead of having to rely on the user who is physically sitting at the device to manage the screens for you. Let's talk for a minute about how we can protect user privacy with regard to the SSH service on the ADVD. The primary method used to protect user privacy with regard to SSH on the ADVD is giving the user control of whether or not the service is enabled or disabled on their own personal device. Additionally, when the user enables SSH, they're asked to provide a customized, personalized password for that service. Thus, they control whether or not it's enabled and the password to access the device. Additionally, there are notifications of whether or not the service is enabled or disabled on the GUI for the device. There is also a notification provided to the user when there's an active connection and when that connection has been closed. There may be some cases where an enterprise wants to prevent users globally from being able to enable SSH on their personal device. And in that case, the SSH underscore allowed setting can be set to zero in the axxxsettings.txt file, which is downloaded globally by all devices in the network. If that setting is zero, then the user on their personal device does not have the option to enable SSH. What we'll look at now is how a user would go about enabling SSH and how a user can determine whether or not SSH is globally allowed or disallowed. First, what we'll do is enable SSH, which is under the Settings menu option in the Applications fan. Then we select the Administrator Options menu item. The default password for the administrator is 27238. We'll go ahead and enter that here. And SSH is enabled under the Debug menu. So we'll click the Debug option there. And you notice down at the bottom of the list, we have SSH server settings. And really, there are only two options we can play with here. The first is the password. The second is the SSH server mode. You'll notice that the username is preset, and that actually comes from the AXXX settings file. But we do have to specify a password before we can actually enable the service on the device. And this is the password that a remote user would use in order to access the device via SSH. Now you'll notice after entering the password, I now have the option to enable SSH. So we'll go ahead and check that box to enable the service. Now what we can do is look in the upper left hand corner of the GUI. There we find our notifications. And this actually does tell us that SSH is enabled on the device. We would also be able to see if there were a user connected to this service. On the right hand side, we can look at the networking icon to find the IP address of the device. This is the IP address that you would connect to if you wanted to SSH into your ADVD. And remember, it's a good idea to protect user privacy by disabling the SSH service whenever it's not needed. So we'll go ahead and do that here by unchecking the SSH server mode box that disables the service and erases the password, which means we would have to re-enter a password in order to enable SSH again on this device. Now, as I mentioned previously, it is possible that the system administrator has globally disabled SSH for all devices in the network. 
And there's an easy way for us to check and see if that is the case for your device or your environment. So first what we'll do is we'll go backwards one screen here to the debug menu. This is under the administration options as well as the debug option. But you'll notice at the top what we'll do is turn on this debug mode. And what that does is add several applications to the application fan on the left. The application we need in order to determine whether or not SSH is globally allowed or disallowed is the DevTools application. Once we click on that, what we'll then select is the Config Debugger. This is essentially a list of all configuration settings for your ADVD, whether they were configured locally or came from the AXXX settings file. Now what we can do is just type SSH into the search field. That will filter all of those configuration items for those that match SSH. And what we want to look for is the option that says SSH allowed. You'll notice that on this device that is set to 1. However, if SSH were globally disallowed, that would be set to 0. And the only way we can change that setting is by contacting our system administrator and having them change the setting in the AXXX settings.txt file. Now in order to clean up our user interface a little bit and make things less confusing on our device, we want to make sure and turn off the debug option. So we'll go back to the administrator options and debug menu and turn off debug mode. Thank you for your time today. We hope that this information was useful for you. We welcome your questions, comments, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.